I mentioned in my email, I have some questions about the history of navigation. Which one would you choose as the most important? And would you both agree on it? Way is so far north, so... Um, At the yeah. moment we're doing Earth and Space and we're learning about how different cultures navigate and different cultures used some, the sun and the stars and to do different things. So, just want to find out how you're getting on. Steve Martin's science classroom is a blended learning environment wherein students interact with the teacher, with each other and with the resources that Steve has placed on the school's web learning environment. The virtual classroom through the, the Halicnet is um, the major tool for that. So I can work from home and just get those resources ready. And it doesn't take me very long. I can get videos from YouTube or kind of some web resource and just put it into that one learning environment. Students also use the World Wide Web as a resource. And the migrating birds. Steve's found that this pedagogy produces better learning, particularly when used in conjunction with the solo taxonomy that drives the student learning. All learning activities here provide opportunities to work at deeper levels of the taxonomy, with success criteria made explicit to the students. Rather than following a simple content-driven uh, scheme, try to put in place opportunities for the kids to think in different ways. So it's not necessarily just about the content, it's using the content, thinking about the content, stretching what the content was. We're trying to find out how the Vikings navigated their way to America um, by using the sun and stars. Didn't the Vikings discover America about 1000 AD, long before Columbus? That's right. The Vikings were excellent navigators and shipbuilders. To answer the question about Vikings finding out distances using Polaris, whether I just Google up the question, or we have this private chat room on our school website that's just for our classroom and we can ask questions, see if other students have found out the answer or if they've come across the same problem. Collaboration is an important thing and the life outside of school, you know, collaboration is a key one. They're not confined to whoever they happen to be sitting next to. You don't necessarily have the disruption of students getting up and wandering around the classroom anymore. You know, they simply post a, a question and somebody will reply to that. And it allows those kind of class experts to come out uh, who you wouldn't necessarily have identified before or the students wouldn't have identified before and think, well, they won't know that. But, you know, so they're constantly being surprised by each other's knowledge. The Vikings to positions of the sun was their primary navigation. So whether it was rising or setting or where it was in the sky. But on cloudy days, they weren't able to see the sun. So they used a crystal called the sandstone and basically they held it up. To everyone reads everyone else's ideas. It really helps because then we get to know what everyone else thinks of it. They used how the birds migrated south for the winter and they used the swells and tides and they also used landmarks. to. This open discussion and the inbuilt flexibility of the virtual classroom creates freedom for students to take their learning in alternative directions. And sometimes you ask a question or you begin an activity and you're never too sure where it's going to end up. The kids will have their own ideas and then you know, as a group we'll work through those ideas, dismiss those ideas or say these ideas of, you know, need further exploration. It's easy to underestimate what the kids can do. They're very capable kids and you know, would get bored very, very quickly. So it's providing them with the, the opportunities really to show what they do know and follow lines of thinking that they do have, which I would never have predicted. The pedagogy also means that students work at their own pace and self-assess. I find it easier in some ways. I'm not in a rush, I guess, to put everything down. Um, and you're thinking deeper into what you're learning, and so it's easier to understand. Every learning intention is broken down into three levels of solo, multi, relational and extended abstract. And then I provide three success criteria based on that, which they can self-assess self on. And that's provided for every learning intention within the unit. And that's all on you know, one piece of paper, which they can easily see what they're doing. The, the kids uh, really got the hang of it. Um, and so much so that they can look at their own stuff and look at other people's stuff and say, well, you haven't really explained that, have you? And you, 
you've only talked about one thing, you haven't linked it to two or three things. Stars and the sun, most of them are usually always accurate, you know, you don't know sometimes the, the animals and the ocean swells. Did you find out which star they used the most? Yeah, the Polaris, which was the North Star they used. Did you actually work out how, how they used it? Did you, did you delve that far into...? Oh, well, yeah, that's what we're working on now, we're trying to see how they used it and more explanation. Traditionally, I would have been racing around the classroom, talking to each group, but because of the success criteria, the self-assessment, the scaffolding of the solo, making it clear, they can actually do a lot of that for themselves. If somebody in their immediate group can't answer it, they post it in Yaplet and somebody in the class can help them. So I monitor, obviously, the conversations that are going on through Yaplet. Um, in VoiceThread, I can see if they're being successful, whether they get it or they're having problems. Um, so I can float round to actually it takes a lot of pressure from me. But obviously be aware of those students who are more likely to have problems, um, but allow those that kind of get it just to fly really with where their passion is and their interest is.